You potentially just force a BKB from Shadow Fiend, maybe catch the Batrider. It seems FTM wise to their maneuvers as Iceberg glimpsed back into the kinetic field. Yules up onto Razor with a BKB Requiem. He'll fear up the Weaver and a good hook shot. Does catch out Funny, but time lapse is back as Iceberg looks like he does escape while always want to fly. Shredded by the Naga Siren. V tuned. He's got reincarnation. First life down, and it doesn't look like they've got any great ways of saving him. Shackles in with the Serpent Wards now, but the song holds Kill them all the in wards. place. They can kill off the wards, focus them, and reset the fight so they can pick off the two squishier targets in the back with a great static storm. They will do a good job at it, but the Wraith just stands his ground, battles into the Naga, nearly kills her off. Spirit Vessel and Rocket Flare take her down, but V-Tune has fallen. Ksani making his way out with a TP, the Glimpse trying to buy a little bit of space, but Iceberg, he's actually cancelled the TP of the Razor. Double raise on the Razor, raises him down, and FTM. Well, maybe he was afraid that it's gonna get denied because of how they were playing and now he's gonna waste sentry, his yeah. sentry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's a good little <laughs> play you can do right now. That's pretty, pretty nice. So Roger denying that gold away. Oh, mid lane, Iceberg turns and fights the TA under tower, burns the refraction. Oh, Sani, does the refraction come back up fast enough? No, the bottle turnaround from Iceberg. Storm gets the kill. Beautifully played with that early point in Vortex. Dragging. Deep vision placed Ruby. by FNG behind the Jumped tower. Up. TPs, they come fast, but the Rubik gets killed off much quicker than expected. Nightmare onto the Monkey King. FNG thinking about the grip. Diffuser Blade to slow down the monkey, and comes the Pango with the Rolling Thunder, and they've gone a lot of damage in onto the Sneaker Baby Slark, but the Sunray gives him the time to pop the Shadow Dance. Toby bouncing around in this fight, now the Wukong's from Boom, focusing onto S4, gets the Jingu stacks up, but the Fiery Spirits, the attack speed's slow, he doesn't get the job done. They focus the Supernova, and they do bring down Hanskin, but at what cost, as Nico Baby has free reign of this fight now, healed up by that Sunray, and turns to battle, look for the Toby kill, Nico Baby gets the grab, five stacks are anti up now, but Aramis, Returning to the battle and dragging back this Bane into the waiting arms of Shad, the life stealer is strong. A quick nightmare drag back, but FNG, wait, FNG TP? No, not gonna work for him. This, this Helm of the Dominator really not paying off. It's a lot of gold. Seemingly for not very much. Shad facing off against Nico Baby, but they've got the grip on the life stealer. Nico Baby focusing that single target as Lip silencing three heroes in the back lines and a great supernova. Hanskin well placed, but they infest into the Rolling Thunder, bounce away, rolling out a danger. Toby saving the life stealer with a great little play and now considering going back in. The Blink Dragon Tail, Rubik caught by the DK. The Wukong's command comes out and Sla, where are you? You're finding the Vengeful Spirit, but you're not focusing the big target. That's S4. He's trapped in between three, but the Nightmare saved from FNG. Finally brought down as Toby has a swashbuckle to get out of danger. Reeves up in about five seconds time, but they've got themselves a turnaround onto Limp. Hanskin getting a double kill though, and Limp still not dead. I thought the Pango would maybe get the kill, but he's brought down, and Life Stealer with Monkey King now left all on their lonesome. Sniped out, and there goes the plate mail. So it's not Kirath delayed on the Lycan. So Axe with a TP, Storm with a TP, they're going to come up top lane. They want to fight around this tier 1 tower. Blink Call on the S4. Oh my goodness, the Prophet completely pats down, caught out, off guard. They focus the Supernova and Aramis will drop down. But Hanson has been focused, so no Blink Echo Slam there. And Limp being dealt with by Boom Storm. Toby with that shiny golden BKB is just kiting Nico Baby straight back into the waiting arms of Viking. And the buyback from Phoenix. So now they turn the tides again. Nico Baby's going to run and hide, but he just can't do it. S4, did he buy back and jump again from Toby? He gets the call! Oh dear, oh that's my, a no, that's a tragedy for you. That's game, it's GG over. is called. Yeah, they understand that they can't do anything. It's just that they're... Will-O-Wisp console leading the charge. Alliance have spread. You, you can't take this fight. They want to connect onto the Juggernaut. There's the Blink with the double Light Strike Array, Laguna Blade. The spin away, Nico Baby gets the heal back out from Dazzle, turns the point now, and he's got Omni Slash ready to go, jumps in, and he's going to annihilate the Keep of the Light with a couple more hits. That will do the trick, and Toby stuck in the middle of all these Alliance heroes. Three down, two to go, but it looks like Viking have got their two bigger cores. Toby may have to buy back here, as Ember Spirit, like you say, does get that Desolator now. Nico Baby, Aegis still in hand for 45 seconds. Celery. He's got Will-O-Wisp in two, but the chain stuns again. Forced to buy back from the Keeper of the Light as Boom 
aiming to stun up as best he can. The advance of Alliance is relentless. And the range racks down. A big Willow Wisp in onto four with a blinding light there as well. Zapping a lot of damage into Limp, but he's got himself a grave. Light Strike Ray will help take down the first life of Nico Baby, but no, he gets the Omni Slash off just in time. He's dancing back around, HP. bouncing back, and full HP once more onto Boone. He goes two heroes down, and Viking call GG. Man, Nico Baby so low on HP. Gets Alliance. Guardian Greaves and gets Mask of Madness during the ulti, suddenly full HP. Alas, they were too late. Again, Virtus Pro, they collapse upon the mid lane. Supreme up front, no one. They go initiating, Zayat with the roll, coming through, he's looking for the back line, he wants Seneko, but Seneko, he goes in closer, hasn't thrown up the save quite yet. Seneko, oh, he's gonna check the save on the Supreme, he says, take me, but leave my death problem alone. She'll get taunted up to drop the Little Wisp at the same time, and Virtus Pro are in full retreat. They got the Oracle, but they might not get out. Rezo, think about the Black Hole. He's got the Blink, he goes in! Oh, it's huge! On the tree! There's a Phoenix in the back, but there's no mana left for the eggs. We can't help, but it's not enough damage either. They're still living in the middle. Charlie will fall. They get the Alchemist, but now LTW trying to hop his way out of the river, leapfrogging to the high ground. But he did not look before he left. There's a reason why I said I'm excited for it, but I don't necessarily believe in it. <laughs> Yeah, All right, the game. high ground fight. Charlie uh, might not even have to use the BKB this game. Uh, does force a buyback on the Coddle. So VP not ready to give it up yet. 22 to 11, 26 minutes. The high ground siege continues. They want the Alki and they actually kill him. Anyway, All right, now I know I said it was still 10 seconds, but you could use it. Uh, you didn't have to keep a 10 seconds. Well, Supreme going to pop BKB his here. now. He uses the Exorcism. He wants to go in on this. Enigma did also BKB himself, so maybe looking for a black hole. No one jumps back in. Does find the kill on Seneko. Trent, this is getting a little scary. Phoenix Egg gets popped. That's three down. Yeah, they're BKB. blowing it right now, dude. Hit the Razzle. Only holding. They want more. Uh, Spirit Vessel already been used on Supreme. She is fast, though. There's Rezo with the Blake Dagger. Caught him with the Malefist. That's, uh, that's going to be a four for nil. Mr. Trent, I guess they did kill the Ursa in mid before they got to the high ground. And oh, Solo Saber Light! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> right, in the back, okay. he hits him with the axes. Okay. But, I mean, given the state of this game, I don't think VP could have poked for much more Dude, than that. Dude, he's going to kill Solo, too. What are you doing? <laughs> Primal Roar. I made my kill. All right, well... Well, this hero is busted two or three up. months now. <laughs> <laughs> ban this guy. This is an insta ban. Okay, well, they are going to put the dog to sleep. Maybe. Or is it great bait? Solo gets put down. Supreme gets an okay coil. Zayetz falls second. BKBs get popped. No one trying to do everything he can. They want this like it's so bad. They've committed so much and they will find him. But at what cost? Dude, Aaron has the Sonic Wave the again. He's going to get blown up. Goodbye. No one. <laughs> Good night. And it connects on three. Somehow the Ember Spirit lives on like two HP. Supreme on the hunt. The dagger for the kill. And the GG is called. Lycan for the game. That is going to be NIP with a 2 nil. Nope. Uh, and I, I saw someone asking uh, Old A playing the Centaur War Runner. That is Afterlife. So that's a uh, yes. player that's been around for quite a long time, just with a slightly different tag. I also had that same question. Mid lane, Nick A. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Level 5, trying to survive. This one's going to be close. I think he's dead for sure, though. Searing nice, Chain, good, no, they can't get it. Insania comes in now and maybe turn the other lane. way. You see Mickey, he was thinking about it. He did the math and they get the kill on Ergon. Now, meanwhile, in the bottom lane. Well, that's the tier three tower down. The dragon and the bear, a name, a more iconic duo. It'd be a Dota children's story. Arena comes down, Ergon to jump in. They want Koikla, but he's still pretty beefy. They should have enough to finish him off, and they do. That's the Aegis. Now BKBs are popped. Boxy in the front lines, and Mickey just laying down the Frost Breath. Spectre dying fast, and she'll fall again. No buyback there. Mars also stuck on the sideline for 85. Now the Dragon Tail Look on the Mickey. Misha. Mickey just tanking the Bedlam. Not a care in the world. Beautiful shackle from Taiga. There's only two left alive, and this should be the end. GG called by Spirit as Liquid take the second game in a convincing 2-0.